This is an incredible story. After spending years in the ring, former heavyweight boxer Pete Ludwinski gave up the sport he loves to spread the gospel on the streets of Atlanta. CBS 46's Adam Murphy introduces us to the pugilistic preacher. From the moment he threw his first punch, Pete Ludwinski dreamed of being a champion. Pete's passion for boxing began more than 30 years ago. From Massapequa Park, New York. Back when the TV screen was small and boxing was big. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Pete, the pugilistic preacher Ludwinski. Since then, the boxing preacher has been fighting the good fight. No fouls, no kidney punches, rabbit punches. Like this bout in Madison Square Garden. right hand. Ludwinski raising his hands in prayer. Where he won his first heavyweight match by technical knockout. Knocked Riley down. You have a capacity crowd, 17,000 on hand. And this one in Atlantic City. Well, they call Pete Ludwinski the punching preacher man. With legendary broadcaster Marv Albert on the call. And Ludwinski landed the right hand. Ludwinski knocked out most defaced in the ring but still fell short of boxing glory. The only thing holding him back was himself. I mean, what's the objective? To damage the guy's brain so his knees shut off and he falls on his back and, and he lays on the ground for 10 seconds. And everybody says, oh, what a champion. What the hell did you do? Winner by a knockout, Pete, the pugilistic preacher, Ludwinski. God's in love. Do unto others as you have them to do unto you. Round two, knockout. While hurting others, he hurt himself, unable to avoid a traumatic brain injury from one too many blows. I have a trouble um, pulling up words from my mind that, man, I spoke long ago. Faith, hope, and love. Yet his constant struggle with faith in the ring is what hit him the hardest. Well, he's a born again Christian and forced him to throw in the towel. He was like, stop, stop, you know? Don't do, Jesus loves you, and he loves the guy you're gonna be hitting too. So there's my regret. Lewinsky here on the undercard. That, um, with, a, you know, a whole lot of years that I spent in the gym, you know? sweating and stinking and punching people and taking punches myself for nothing. Not all for nothing. From it, he found his real calling in life. Nowadays, he dresses up in an eye-catching costume and hits the streets of Atlanta to be a champion for God. Father God, thank you for my sister Andrea. Thank her for being open, Lord God. He's a full-time street preacher, praying for people in traffic. Bless my friend, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Jesus loves you! <laughs> God bless you, man. And in this case, he offered a helping hand to someone in need. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Hallelujah! Jesus loves you, man. God bless you. Giving what little he has to the less fortunate. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I know you care for him, Lord God. And is also yeah. part of his mission. God bless you. <laughs> I am blessed. God, I am blessed. You God are bless blessed. Too. I'm just trying to get people to realize there's a real main event on the other side of the curtain. It's not this life, it's the next life. It's the main event. How you doing? From pugilistic preacher you know? to street preacher. Ledwinski stayed true to himself, and that's a sign of a true champion. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.